Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we're continuing on with our vintage trailer restoration. We're gonna get into that. My name is Zach. I'm the author of the Cargo Trailer to Camper Conversion Guide. I'll link to it up here, $15 download. It supports the channel and it also provides a lot of information if you want to renovate your camper or to convert a cargo trailer. But let's get started in this episode right now. Let me show you what I'm doing. So the plan now is I'm just going to take these window rings off here, get these panels out, trace them onto the new wood, and then get these panels back in. I don't know if I'm going to reseal the windows quite yet. Once this is all structurally sound, then I'll reseal the windows, stick them back in, and I think that'll be a much better seal in the end rather than it flexing and stuff as I'm building walls and stuff in here. So let's do that. Let's get these rings off here and then get these panels built and glued in. Okay, so here's the stuff we're going to put in the corners rather than the pink insulation. And you can see it's got an R value because it's got, uh, basically it's an air gap. So you can put a couple layers in if you want. I'll give you a little bit more, but I'm just going to do one. I think just the way it is, I believe it's close to R4. Anyways, that's going to go in all these corners here. So there's no support at all in there. You can imagine driving down the road with that whole thing blowing away. So I drill the hole here. I'm going to inject some adhesive through here. I'm going to put some adhesive all the way around in here so this is nice and solid. And then same in here, right in there so that that frame is solid. And then what I'm going to do is when I install the panel, staple it on, and then I'm going to clamp the two together. To Okay, welcome back to day two. So now you can see kind of the contraption I've got in the background here to keep the walls, keep the panels firmly pressed against the walls. So we're gonna take all this out and then we're gonna put in our shower, get that in place, start building the walls and then working our way forward. But I'd really like to get the flooring down too because I, I want the linoleum to be one piece sealed underneath everything. It's a good idea to put flooring underneath all of your tanks because the condensation from the tank will rot the plywood. You definitely need a membrane in between the two. You can't just set your tank on raw plywood. That's looking pretty good there. Now we're gonna start on this side. And in here, some of these rings that go around here where the screws for the grates screw into are were rotted out because of the leaking from the windows and from the roof. So we're gonna build new wooden frames and then I'll glue them, clamp them in there, and then we're gonna get these, these panels done here. Okay, so things are progressing really nice, but now we gotta get this shower unit back in and installed so that I can get the panels in the front uh, fitted. So to put the, the shower unit in, I just set it in place for now, but now we're gonna hook up all the pipes. Now the pipes, remember I just cut them, so basically we're gonna just be putting in PEX connectors. For the vent and the sewer lines, we're just gonna be using these mechanical joints. So I'm gonna put those on the two vents that are going through the roof and then also on the drain that's coming in. And then the drain that's going into the gray tank, I'm gonna be rebuilding that one. So we're gonna glue that up. But first, I just wanna get the shower unit placed in the right spot and get that shower drain uh, tightened up. So here's our shower. And this is what I did, I just supported it. I put propped it up as far up as it'll go, just so it's touching the ceiling. I just propped it up with some two by fours here. And then in behind here, in behind the, the seam, has been siliconed and then this band put on. And the band is what pulls both fiberglass halves together. So now I'm gonna put the frame, I've got a frame to go in here and then a frame to go on this side. Frames on and then the paneling. And then we're gonna start on the front. 
get all this paneling done here. Just before I stick the tank in, I'm just replacing the lines with these braided lines. So this is a little bit difficult to do if you just try and slide this on these barbed fittings. But if you take your heat gun and just lightly warm them up, just slightly, they'll slide on no problem. And you'll also get a better seal because when you tighten up the clamp, it really uh, forms it around the fitting. I don't know if you saw what I did there, but even though I am just cutting this butt connector out and I knew when I cut all this wire out of here that I wasn't going to use it, I left a little piece of the green wire on here. So then I know exactly where this brown wire that it connects that green wire down there. It's just kind of a little bit of a marker. Then you don't have to label anything. You just know where these wires go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fill this tank right up to the top with water, make sure there's no leaks, and then we're going to box this in. That's it, our water tank's filled right to the top here. We'll just leave it a few minutes, see if we got any water leaks. Yeah, it's starting to look like a trailer again. Got our shower in there, we've got our little closet, drawers, bench, and now I've got this thing in here and supporting the roof there. Now I'm gonna start over on this side. I'm gonna put my cabinets in here. Before I put these cabinets in, I'm just gonna drill the holes for the wires to go through for like the brakes and the tanks and also for the propane lines to come up. These cabinets are all in. So now we're going to start on the front, get these panels in, and then build our cabinets. This front bench area here was completely missing. It was rotted, I guess, and the previous owner just threw it out. So we're just gonna try to uh, come up with something that makes sense. I know that it's gotta cover these pipes here. I think there's a little shelf that goes here that you can open. And then there's just the back and then the bench with the hot water tank underneath and the power box. See if we can kind of figure out something that'll work here. So just before I wrap up this video, I just wanna show you kind of where we're at right now. So you can see we've got the box done on this side. This side, I've got it 99% done, everything's there, but I wanna get my water tank and my wiring all buttoned up in there first before I go and box it in. I've got all the upper cabinets done here. Just spin around here to the back. 
can see we've got uh, ca cabinets here on the side, cabinets on the bottom, showers in, our little closet. I still need to put the bunk bed back in there. Okay, we're going to wrap up the video there. As you can see, I'm not quite done, but I'm pretty sure you're done watching me put panels on cupboards. You got a good general idea of how I did it. Now we're going to continue. I've got right now, I can't really do much more until I get the wiring and the plumbing done because it's all running in behind the cupboards before I put the panels on. So that's why we're going to stop this video now. The next one we're going to talk about the wiring, the plumbing, and the propane. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.